Hey everyone, today we'll be looking at Photograph by Ed Sheeran and it sounds like this. What's up everybody, my name is Simone from Your Guitar Academy. Welcome to this Photograph guitar lesson. In today's guitar lesson we'll be looking at the melody and the chords together with the rhythm and the techniques to play this song by Ed Sheeran. Guys, before we start, just uh, check all the other video lessons that we uploaded here on YouTube, subscribing to our channel. And don't forget that everything I'll be showing you today, all the chords, all the techniques will be in the full write-up of this lesson that you can get for free if you click in the link in the description here below. All right, guys, so let's start saying today that we are playing this song by Ed Sheeran with the acoustic guitar in standard tuning, so we're not changing the tuning and without any capo. Now, first of all, let's say that this is not the only way to play this song, and there are two different versions. One is the record version, and today we'll be learning the recording version, so exactly the one that I was playing before. Uh, and Ed Sheeran also plays slightly differently when he's live, so he plays the same chords, the same melody, but he uses the capo on the second fret, and I guess he changes even the tuning, so it's going to be slightly different if you look at the live version. Okay, we are ready to start now for this, uh, we are ready to start this lesson now for uh, the record version. Um, let's start saying that we want to learn the melody first in finger picking and we want to say that the bass on the melody is only the E note that you can find on the second fret of the D string and I suggest you to go there with the second finger. Now, again, uh, there are other ways to play even this melody. Let's get started with this and then I will show you two alternative versions. Alright, so let's get started with this melody with the bass on the second fret of the D string. It's an E note and you're going to play this, this with the second finger. Then you're going to stretch, I'll come closer to the camera, the little finger on the fourth fret of the B string to play the note D sharp. You play with the thumb on the right hand, the D string second fret, which is the E, you let it ring and then you play the melody in two different parts. The first part is three notes, E, D sharp, E. Now the E is going to be the open I E string, D sharp is going to be the fourth fret of the B string with a little finger and E again. So if I play this first half of the melody, it's going to be so E on the bass, E, D sharp, E, timing one and two and then on three you don't play anything, on the end number three you're going to play open B, then A, G sharp, second and first fret on the G string. So the last three notes are open B, A on the second fret of the G string, G sharp on the first fret of the G string. So all together is going to be The timing for it is going to be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Um, when you play this and you count the timing, you might have noticed that I played the last two notes with a pull-off. So I played the G string only once on the second fret and then I put it off to listen to the sound of the previous fret, which is the first fret of the G string. So I'm playing thumb, middle, index, um, thumb, middle, in, uh, thumb, index, so these are the first four notes. Then usually I do index on the B string and then thumb for the G and then pull off, like... Okay, this is the way I find myself more comfortable playing this, but feel free to find other versions to play this melody with the uh, right hand. So once you are familiar with this, you play it a few times this is going to be the only melody that you have in this song but as I said before it's not the only way to play this melody you might decide that you don't want the E in this octave because it's more comfortable to play the open string on top so you might decide to move the bass one octave lower even though it's the same note it's the, uh, still an E and play exactly the same thing but moving the first note I find this even more comfortable But just to be closer to the recording, in the recording this is the octave of the E note on the bass. 
another way to play the same octave of the recording, so this E on the bass, but without going to uh, the octave lower, is basically taking the G string and uh, tuning it to an uh, E string. So basically you go down from G to E, one and a half steps, and you get the, the E on the bass here rather than a G. So when you play this open G, it actually sounds like this. Then obviously you have to adjust the other notes, so I don't suggest you to do that, but I've seen people doing this and might be more comfortable than keeping this second finger and the little finger here. If you are familiar with this kind of stretching and you don't find it too hard, you can try to play exactly the melody like you listen into the recording. Just practicing this a few times. The, the only secret here is let the notes ring as much as, as possible so that they sound as one big melody, okay? One big arpeggio. All right, and after this melody, we go into the chords part. To play that, we need a pick, and we are going to need only four easy chords without any, um, any uh, capo needed. So we are going to play an E major, then we are going to play a C sharp minor with a bar on the fourth and then A minor uh, shape. Remember that when we play this chord, the top string, the E string is muted. Then we need a B, which is bar on the second and then A shape uh, with the ring finger. And then we are just going to need an A that you can uh, either play with one uh, finger as a bar here and the open A here, or you can play with three fingers in a more classic um, beginners beginners way. Now guys if you're not sure about these chords or if you want to see them better in a proper diagram remember that with the link in the description here below you will go to our website where you can find for free the full write-up of this lesson meaning that you will see all the chords I'm talking about in proper diagrams and you can follow this lesson even better. So when you play these chords guys just remember that except for the E the first chord the next three have always the top string muted so you should use the tip of uh, your first finger to mute the E string on top gonna sound gonna sound much better for the A if you play like this or if you play like this you're gonna use the thumb obviously all right now these are the only chords that you need for the entire song just in three different orders let's see the order of the verse for the verse you play E for two bars Then you play C sharp minor. Then you play B. And then you play A. Since we have four chords, two bars each, you are going to play eight bars. The technique that you use for this strumming pattern is all downstrokes, counting one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and with palm muting, which means my palm is on top of the strings, very close to the bridge, stopping the sound. The downstroke takes actually only two, three strings, so you're not going to play this, you're only going to play the top strings, and it sounds more like a power chord. And uh, at the same time, while you do this, you also give an accent on one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and meaning there are three strokes a bit louder than the other ones. It's when you say one, when you say end number two, so one and two end, and when you say four, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and it's going to be the same for every chord. every time like this. So you play E, C sharp minor, B, A, and you repeat, repeat for the verse. For the pre-chorus, you're going to use the same chord starting from C sharp minor, and the order is going to be C sharp minor, A, E, B, C sharp minor, A, That means you're going to play one bar each, C sharp minor, one bar A, one bar E, and you end with a B for one bar. This is the bridge or pre-chorus, depending on uh, how you want to call it. The chorus of this song is going to start again with the E, same chorus, but the order is going to be 
B C sharp minor A So again, you've got the same chords, but two bars E, two bars B, two bars C sharp minor, two bars A. Okay guys, we've seen how you basically play the same chords in three different orders with two different lengths, but the technique is going to be exactly the same all the time. It's all down strokes with the palm muting, playing the strings on top and using the accents like we saw together. There is nothing else to do guys, so just practice the chord changes as much as you can and the melody, trying to be as clean as possible and you will be able to play along with the track Remember, this is the recording version of this photograph by Ed Sheeran. All right, guys, so I really hope that this lesson helped you. Please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos. And if you have any questions or any feedback, leave them in the comment section here below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you next time.